Here we have Trey's brush stroke. Seam dive in, pretty good depth. Getting that dolphin kick in at the right spot. Doing pretty good. Eyes are up right there. Make sure you keep that head down as you're going through. You do like to press real, real wide, so those elbows are back real far. I'd like to see you try and keep those hands out in front of you a little bit more and possibly getting those elbows so that they're just about maybe two inches in front of where they're at at this point in time. That'll give you a lot better ability to kind of press down on the water. And as we go through here, we can see that you just are not getting those feet flexed out to the side. Um, it's one of those things that you're going to struggle with uh, having a legal breaststroke if you can't get those feet turned out. One of the tools that would help would be flat out just kind of sitting on the ground with your feet out to the side of you and having your feet pointed out versus having them kind of flex back behind. Uh, it's going to be one of those things that is really hard for you to fix, um, but there is the possibility and it's just really think about getting the pressure of the water as you're kicking back on the ball of your foot instead of on the top side. Um, keep those arms out in front of you and really squeeze those elbows together and hopefully that'll get that brush stroke to uh, work a little bit more for you but really focus on your kick so that we can make that a legal stroke for you. Here's Trey's brush stroke. Okay, pretty good start going on. Maybe get a little bit more depth because as we see him go through the kick right here, we're getting just a little bit of movement, which is a little hard to see when the uh, picture's going this slow. But he's getting right there at the surface, so we need to get just a little bit more depth to be able to get into that underwater pole and have enough timing. I can see we're trying to get a little bit of that butterfly feel, and I know we're going to be able to really have a uh, good look at that kick. You tend to just keep those feet in like you're doing your butterfly kick which is probably one of the harder things on breaststroke is to get those feet turned out. As we go through this turn what you're kind of doing is you're doing this loop around. What I would like to see you do is go straight in, come straight back out. And in order to do that you're really going to need to think about driving those knees straight up underneath your body. So then you can just kind of roll your body around. It's almost like doing a reverse flip turn. Uh, that'll help you get in and out of that wall a lot quicker, so then you're going to be able to have that faster turn. Good depth going through, utilizing that underwater pull and kick. Again, we're hitting right uh, close to the surface as you're going through that kick. So right here we see a little bit of a splash or a little bit of uh, some water movement at the surface right back there. So that just really tells me we need to get those feet up a little bit higher on the wall so then you can push off with a little bit greater depth. Um, as we're going through, um, you're getting into this position. This is where your stroke should naturally bring you up to breathe and then your breathing is actually a little bit late. So we really need to think about getting that out sweep and then pressing down on the water a little bit and really squeezing together hard so that that'll help pop you up to breathe because you're actually having to work a little bit harder than you need to on your breast stroke and I think we can make the arms at least a little bit uh, easier. A uh, little long glide at the end but you did the smart move on not taking another stroke. Nice shot Trey.